สบายดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีตอนบ่ายค่ะอับดุลสบายดีกันไหมเอ่ยสวัสดีค่ะแอนเดรียสวัสดีค่ะรอชกูมอร์นิ่งฟอมลอนดอนสวัสดีค่ะแอนนี่สวัสดีค่ะ So when I call your name, it's gonna be in Thai accent, like <laughs> Evelyn, Abdul, Andrea, Lord, Annie, <laughs> like <laughs> it's Thai accent. Okay. Ah, uh, สวัสดีค่ะพี่อันสวัสดีค่ะแอนโทนีสวัสดีค่ะมาริกสวัสดีค่ะบิลลี่โอเค So Anthony's name is Ton, so uh, it's a Thai name. It's your Thai name. Um, Olive. สวัสดีค่ะ Michael. Uh, Michael. <laughs> Michael. Yeah, this this is our Thai accent. Michael. สวัสดีค่ะ Uh, Yasmin. สวัสดีค่ะ From Indonesia. Alisa. สวัสดีค่ะ Uh, Thai, Evelyn, uh, you watch uh, every every live. b u n m a สวัสดีค่ะ from Holland. สวัสดีค่ะ Lee j u h a n สวัสดีค่ะ m i n g a l a b a so uh, you are from Myanmar. <laughs> uh, Lily, สวัสดีค่ะ from the Philippines. <laughs> Santosh, สวัสดีค่ะ Okay, I'm Evelyn from Saudi Saudi Ra Saudi Arabia. <laughs> okay, Thai writing is so hard. Uh, it's only hard at the beginning. Everything is hard just at the beginning. a b d u l วันนี้แต่งหน้าของครูสวยงามมากเลยครับ <laughs> จริงๆจริงๆปุ้ยไม่ชอบแต่งหน้าถ้าสังเกตดูนะคะปุ้ยจะแต่งหน้าแบบเดิมตลอดสีเดิมตลอดแบบเดิมตลอดไม่เคยเปลี่ยนเพราะว่าแต่งหน้าไม่เก่งและจริงๆเราไม่ชอบแต่งหน้าแต่งหน้า so I do makeup just not for me to look ugly I'm not putting makeup like to be beautiful <laughs> มาบูเฮอ่าอันนี้ from มาบูเฮอ Paras from India Namaste สวัสดีค่ะ n e v i n สวัสดีค่ะ Anthony วันนี้เราจะเรียนอะไรครับวันนี้เราจะเรียนเรื่องเกี่ยวกับการบอกลักษณะคนค่ะ <laughs> yeah it's a it could be hard because it's not a kind of a romanization you have to remember them But again, it's only hard at the beginning. Thai spelling. Hmm. 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 a y a สวัสดีค่ะเคนโซเฟียสวัสดีค่ะ Thailand is still in the lockdown. Yes, absolutely. Yes. So we um has just. Uh, hitting like there's the third wave of um, the COVID-19. Um, the breakout was in April. Yes, the 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 breakout was in April. The third wave, and there were so many um, spreading. There were super spreader, and um, the country is in lockdown again. It has been um, in lockdown. Down maybe a month, I guess, and then the government just announced, like I think yesterday, to extend the lockdown. Um, uh, music, ขอบคุณค่ะ Annie, miss some time so much. <laughs> I 
I so I have um, <clears throat> lessons for today. It's about explaining the feelings, emotions, personalities, characters. Uh, but I am thinking about the next week. I am thinking to talk with you guys about where is the best place if you're supposed to come to Thailand, to stay in Thailand, to live in Thailand, to come studying in Thailand, or to travel in Thailand. Not Thailand, like Bangkok. Something like that. <laughs> okay. Let's get started. Darren, สวัสดีค่ะ. <laughs> I'm ready for a lesson in Bangkok, yeah, after the lockdown. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is the content for today. Zona, สวัสดีค่ะ. Okay, so in English, okay, so I, I, I think I need to compare to English because in English, there are a verb to be and verb to do so in english like you use a verb to be to explain or describe things or people or um saying where something is at like um the preposition but it's different in thai language so we use different words in english it's just like um using verb to be to explain um your emotions or describe uh, a person uh marison uh no he is Spanish. what does it mean <laughs> okay so the first one if you would like to say your feelings or your emotion so first option first option you just say the subject it could be tan to pom or whoever and then right away you can say the feelings that you have uh like uh, for example tan Sorry, poor Thai. Chan, poor Thai. So, poor Thai means um, to feel satisfied. So, Chan, poor Thai. Anyway, you can also add the word Rusuk. So, Rusuk means to feel. So, if you feel something, you have two ways to say. The first way is to say the subject and then right away you say the feeling Chan Pajai. Or the second way you can say the subject and then you add a word to be clear Rusu, which means to feel and then the feelings. So you can say Chan Rusu Pajai or Chan Pajai. Both means I am satisfied, like I feel satisfied. Sawadika Garcia from Mexico. Sawadika, what time is it there? Is it it is it like two AM in the morning? <laughs> okay, the next um sample is Chan and then Kang Won. So what's the meaning of Kang Won? Can you tell me what's the meaning of Kang Won? Kang Won. What's the meaning of Kang Won? <laughs> what's the meaning of Kang Won? So what's the meaning of Chan Kang Won or Chan Rusu Kang Won? Hmm. Oh, say is anxious and then music say is worry. Is there any more answer? What's the meaning of Chan Rusu Kang Won? Yes, mean, uh, I don't know, but then in a bit you will know. <laughs> Burly scared. <laughs> So scare in Thai is Glua Sk 
scare. So scare in Thai is Glua. So Pian, I feel worried. Anthony, concerned. Mm. Yeah, so when we say uh, Yes, we feel worried and we feel concerned. Yeah, but the first word I would say like worried and then concerned. Yes. <laughs> okay, so again, you can say Chan Rusukangwon or you just say Chan Gangwon for I am worried. The next one Chan Rusuk So, what's the meaning of Chan Rusuk Nuai? Nuai. Ma, uh, Mark, Mark, okay, this is um Thai accent. Mark Denver, Mark Denver, Thomas. <laughs> this is Thai accent. It's okay. Um, Kato, I feel tired. Good. Pian, I feel tired. Good. Oh, I feel tired. Good. Ken, I really want to learn, but I'm not confident enough. Um, Ken, you don't need confidence to learn Thai. <laughs> <laughs> we just need to feel enjoy learning and that's all. And Tony tired, yes. Yes mean tired, yes. Um yeah, but not tired to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Chan Rusuk Nui Abdun I feel tired. Yes, correct. Means I am tired or I feel tired. Yes, correct. You can say Chan Rusuk Nui or Chan Nui. Uh, hello from Lutcher. Like, um, I couldn't read your name. <laughs> the next one. Nguang non is tired because you need to sleep. Ah, okay. So, nguang non. Nguang non means um, to feel sleepy. Yeah. And you want to sleep. The next one is tan sleepy. Sleepy is nguang non. Mm. Can you make a Zoom class so we can meet virtually? Um, actually, I have taught over a Zoom class for months. I think since September last year, but it's now on pause since much but um it's still on my plan to resume to the zoom class you need to wait for the announcement would it be speaking thai and accident tolly say the wrong tone it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine we still understand it i think okay the next one what's the meaning of sapson Chan Rusuk Sapson. Again, you can say Chan Rusuk Sapson or Chan Sapson. So, what's the meaning of it? Mat Jack Netherlands. So, this is um the Thai accent for your name, Mat <laughs> from Netherlands. Um, yin di thi dai ren ru ek rang kap kun ma. Uh, yin di ka. Pian, I feel confused. Good job. Anthony, confused. Good job. Hmm. So, sapson means to be confused. So, it means Abdul feel, I feel confused. Correct. Um, if you want to say like, I am confused or I feel confused, then you can say chan sapson or chan rusik sapson. Good job. So, this is um, the first part. Can confused? Yes, correct. So, this is the first part. If you would like to say about your feelings or emotion. Then the next part, if you want to say, if, what is ngong? What is ngong? I think it's not ngong, it's nguang. <laughs> nguang means to feel sleepy. And the next one is to tell about your, your or someone's personality or character. Um, you can use the word pen kon. 
ป็นคน so basically the word เป็น the direct translation of เป็น is like the verb to be like is am are and then คน means human or a person so again you have two ways to say it first you use the word เป็นคน for example เขาเป็นคนใจดีเขาเป็นคนใจดี so what's the meaning of ใจดีเขาเป็นคนใจดี what's the meaning of it M J you are late you can rewatch it again <laughs> Um, Kato, he is good-hearted, music kind, can kind. A Kato, good person. Hmm. Andrew. So this is uh, the Thai accent. Andrew. <laughs> She has a good heart, a kind person. Yes, man. P and kind, friendly. Mishai, he is kind. Okay. How often do I live? Um, every Sunday until further notice. <laughs> It's every Sunday for now, like um, at this moment. Um, he is Kai. Okay, so um, when okay, so first of all, Kao Pen Kon Jai Di means he is Kai or he is a Kai person. You again. You have two ways to say it. You can say เขาเป็นคนใจดี or you just say เขาใจดี However, if you want to say like um, he or she is a good person, uh, a good person would say I would say like เขาเป็นคนดี not ใจดี because ใจดี is um, kind. But if you want to say like that person is a good person, so I would just say like. เขาเธอเป็นคนดีเขาดีเธอดี just ดี not ใจดี mm. เป็นคนที่ดีเป็นคนที่ดี means uh, that person is a good person yes okay the next one เขาเป็นคนกล้าหาญ again เขา means he not she เขา means he not she the next one เขาเป็นคนกล้าหาญ what's the meaning of กล้าหาญ and what's the meaning of this sentence เขาเป็นคนกล้าหาญ or เขากล้าหาญและเป็นคนน่ารัก <laughs> What is กล้าหาญ Why when translating Thai using Google, the sentence doesn't matter. Oh, it happens. It, I, I wouldn't recommend you to trust Google translation if you would like to translate a sentence or sentences like word by word. It's okay, but in sentences, no. <laughs> is she her? Yes, she is her. สวัสดีค่ะ Okay, what's the meaning of กล้าหาญ Does anybody know? กล้าหาญ Unknown mistress. He is a brave person. Correct, Abdul. He is a brave person. Good job. Anthony, he is a brave person. Yes, correct. So กล้าหาญ means brave, like to be brave. So he is brave, or he is a brave person. Yes, correct. Good job. The next one. เขาเป็นคนขยันเขาเป็นคนขยัน What is ขยัน Can brave person correct? What is k a y a n เขาเป็นคนขยัน Or you can also say เขาขยัน t e is you. Uh, yes, we sometimes actually so many times we use we call the other person t e r t e r t e r Yeah, with I. 
I think we call the other person to 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 with with someone we are not close to, and usually um students use it like at school. If a girl want to call a boy, she can call that boy like to to. Again, also if a boy wanna call a girl, like he can call her to to. <laughs> Abdul, my tongue, what is my tongue? <laughs> Anthony, he is a diligent person. Correct, good job. Kasawadika, Ken, he is a diligent person. Correct, good job. <clears throat> Music, he is hardworking. Now, hardworking is uh, tham ngan na. Tham ngan na. So, hard working is tham ngan nak. So, tham means to do, ngan means work. Tham ngan means to work. Nak means heavy or hard. So, if you want to say someone is hard working or a hard working person, then you can say uh, the subject, kao ter or that person, and then kao tham ngan nak. Or you can also say kao. เป็นคนทำงานหนักโซนาฉันเป็นคนอินโดนีเซียอินคน uh, with nonu at the end in the in formal situation yeah in spoken daily informal <laughs> okay เขาเป็นคนขยัน means he is Diligent or he is a diligent person. Good job. Okay, and the next one, Kao Ben Kon Oton. What is Oton? Pui not pum pui. What is Oton? Kao Ben Kon Oton. What about Ging for heart? Like Nam Ging, Nam Ging, Nam Kang. Kang. Oh, Kang. Okay, so Nam Kang means ice. And then, um, so Nam Kang. So basically, Nam means water and Kang means heart. Nam Kang means water heart, which is hot water, which is ice. <laughs> okay, so that's how we call ice, like hot water. <laughs> yeah, when something is uh, strong, we say Kang, like strong water, hot water. And we also have the word Kang rang, which mean strong. So kang rang, kang rang. Basically, kang means a strong heart, and then rang means energy. Like a uh, strong or hard energy means like you are strong, <laughs> like physically strong. <laughs> Okay, so Kao Pen Kon Oton. What is Oton? Kao Pen Kon Oton. What is Oton? Pa Kang. That's from, uh, I think that's from Together the Series. <laughs> pa Kang. <laughs> okay, so Pa means mouth, and then Kang means heart. So we say pa kang with someone who's like like pa kang. The direct translation is heavy mouth or hard mouth. So we use it with a person who who's not easily say or speak about things. Like the mouth is heavy, so it's not moving. <laughs> Zappi, greeting from Arizona. สวัสดีค่ะ. Anthony, he's a patient person. Correct. Good job. คุณเป็นครู. 
Ah, uh, it's Spanish. I have to learn. He is pa a patient person. Correct, Ken. Okay, so Oton means being patient. Good job. Okay, so this is about saying personality and character. And the next part is about saying a quality that someone has. Like, for example, um, okay, so we use the word me, which means to have. So the subject and have, and then the quality that that person has. <laughs> okay, the first one, the me we nine. The me we nine. So what is we nine? What is we nine? I have a nice smart. Um, basically, we say yim so why yim gang. Like, yeah, if that person smart a lot, then we say yim gang. Anthony discipline. Good job. So, suitable sadika. Te mi we nai. So we nai means discipline. In English, in English, you would say like chi is disciplined. But in Thai language, we say she has discipline. So this is the different way between English and Thai. And the next one can discipline card. Te mi pon sawan. Te mi pon sawan. So what is pon sawan? What is pawn sawan? Te mi pawn sawan. Talent, Anthony. Can talent. Okay, Naga talented. Yes, okay. So basically, the word Sawan, Sawan means heaven. <laughs> you are talented. Okay, yeah. Okay, so in English, you will say like, she is talented or she is gifted. In Thai, we say she has talent or she has like a gift. Okay, so she the me pon sawan another double ro rua yeah so ro rua when there's double ro rua we pronounce it like a sound <laughs> okay the next one the me jintanakan Pian, why are you laughing? Because of Dora, right? <laughs> okay, so the me jintanakan. What's the meaning of the me jintanakan? Uh, the ro double Dora. <laughs> the me jintanakan. What's the meaning of it? Jintanakan Do you know? Has anybody know? 
Does anybody know? Okay. <laughs> okay. Imagination, good and funny. Yes, correct. Yeah. Okay. So if that person is like um an imaginative person, can again okay, uh <laughs> imagination, yes. P and difficult words today. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay like you so it means that today you learn many things new <laughs> suitable it's hard uh, uh, imaginative yes okay so if you want to say someone is uh, Im imaginative then you can say cow or the or that person me <laughs> jintanakan Okay. The next one, the me, ความคิดสร้างสรรค์ another double รอเรือเธอมีความคิดสร้างสรรค์ What is ความคิดสร้างสรรค์ What is ความคิดสร้างสรรค์ผมรู้สึกเหมือนเดิมโอเค what what is เธอมีความคิดสร้างสรรค์ Anthony creativeness and thew เหมือนกันเหมือนกันคุณอันโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเค so does anybody giving more answer can creativeness ความคิดสร้างสรรค์ So, okay. So, first, something to do with thinking. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. So, sang san. First, the word sang san means to create. Innovative. You are creative. Yeah. In innovative. Mm, not that. <laughs> this one is difficult. Okay, so sang san means to create, and then kit means to think, and then we add the word kwam before it, like kwam kit means the thought or that thinking. So kwam kit sang san means the creative idea. Creative thought. <laughs> okay, so ธอมีความSo in English, in English, it would be like she is creative, but in Thai, it's a uh, T has creative thinking <laughs> or thoughts, something like that. Okay, so for this one. In English, you all of this sentence, you would just use a verb to be like um, he is kind. Oh no, he is kind. Um, I am for it. I am tired. He is brave. She is talented. She is disciplined. Like all of these are using verb to be in English, but. When it comes to Thai language, you have to separate them like this. Like, I sat and I was trying, like, how should I teach you guys about this? It took me, like, an hour, yeah, to come up with, like, this table for you. It looks easy, but no. <laughs> Okay, so don't forget to write it on your note. Yeah, okay, so this is the first lesson for today.
The next one is this one. Thank you. Thank you for saying I'm the best teacher. Okay, guys, don't forget to write out on your notebook. Okay, so this is the second lesson for today. And I'm sorry, there's no game today because I would like to finish these two. <laughs> because I have prepared, like, since I prepared them since like two weeks ago. Okay, so. Um, I would like to teach you guys how to use the word eek, eek, tea. Like, um, you would say something like, again, one more time, something like that. Um, okay, so the first one is the word eek, eek. So eek means more or again, like, for example, um you are something and you finish it and you will like to ask more like um uh, let's say you finish a glass of drink and then you want more then you can say like call eek which means like more call eek yeah okay the next one is eek tea so that's the word tea T means time, so E T is one more time. So if you want someone to do something one more time, you just simply say E T, which means like one more time. Is repeating the same word means truly or really wanted? Um, it means when you put when we repeat the same words it means like a lot very mm. <laughs> okay yeah like ding ding like very really <laughs> okay so but if there is my egg tone a perfect E T. So T means a place. Mean um a place or places. So E T means another place. So E T means one more time. But E T T means another place. Ding ding mag mag yeah mag mag like very very very. Okay, the next one. อีกครั้ง อีกครั้ง so ครั้ง means time as well like so many times we use et and อีกครั้ง like interchangeable like if you want someone to do something again you can either say et et yeah i just double it et <laughs> et or you can say อีกครั้ง or you can also say อีกครั้ง so nung means one so like one more time อีกครั้ง the direct uh, translation is one more time <laughs> again yeah okay the next one is อีกอัน อีกอัน means another one ikan means another one or it means like another pian <laughs> another another person of pian like ikan no i was kidding so ikan means another one yes i'm from isan or ikan nung again nung means one eek an nung means like another one <laughs> okay so when we say eek an or uh, eek an nung so that has it has to be like a stuff or a thing something not not human not people but 
if you want to say like another person, then you say อีกคนอีกคน So คน means people or a person. So อีกคน means another person, but อีกอัน means another stuff or another thing. So it has to be a stuff. The difference between อีกที่อีกครั้งหนึ่ง Ah, I don't understand the question. <laughs> I think yeah, you have to watch all of my videos. Yeah, <laughs> please go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so if you supposed um, to start or get start learning Thai language, I would recommend you to go watch the video of uh, Thai alphabets, Thai consonants, and Thai vowels first. That would be the first step, and then the second step, remember them. <laughs> Remember them. And the third step, then um, there are many videos that I have made about uh, common sentences, common verses, common words. Go, go remember. I do not say go watch them, but I would say go remember them, <laughs> and start using those common words in daily life, like gradually. Uh, give a sentence, for example, for, um, for which one, for which word? Before real life. <laughs> uh, you download it. Okay, I... If possible, please come to the channel and watch them online. Just to help me. อีกทิ้นกับอีกอันเหมือนเดิมเหมือนกันเหมือนกัน <laughs> Uh, the the difference between mượn can and mượn đơm. Right now, today's new vocabulary. Mean can and mean dem. So mean dem means the same, but mean can means two, or also like uh, for example, boy, chop dem, cafe, mean can. Is there a problem with the connections? There, still there. Are you guys still there? Is the connection still good? Hello, hello. Oh, yes, okay, good. Okay, good. Ah, uh, good, good, okay. Still, okay, good, good. Thank you, thank you. A bit shaky. Hope it's good now. Okay. All right. So, mean, mean, can, and mean dem. So, mean can. For example, for example, boy, chop, dem, cafe, mean can. Boy, chop, dem, cafe, mean can. I like drinking coffee too. So, mean can. And then, mean dem is the same. Like um, for example, the can we la dem. The can means to see. We la means time. Mun the dem means the same. So the can we la dem. The can mun dem. Yeah, it's the, the same. I'm sorry. <laughs> so okay. So it should be um. So, อีกอันกับอีกชิ้นเหมือนกันหรือเปล่าครับโอเค 
Yes, similar. Ikshin, Ikan, yeah, 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 yes. <laughs> okay. How to start a question asking about place like tea? Okay, I have a video of it, like on Let's Learn Thai series one, maybe the fourth EP, I'm not sure. Like you can go check it out for um, question words. The last E. Now, oh, what, what can you teach? Like by writing on the board? Mm, I do not have a board actually. And I was thinking to get a board too. But for me, I prefer to write them down on a paper so that I can keep the listen. So I can have like the record of what I have taught you guys. And then if I want to refer to it or at the end make a listen from it, then I can just like grab them. Yeah, so that's why I put them on paper to save it, <laughs> to save everything that I have taught. Okay. Okay, then it's okay now. Ikrang, one more time. I would like to make that suggestion. Which suggestion? Yeah, if uh, anyone seems like a spam, please, like, can I do it myself? <laughs> Report. Okay. Spam. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, done. Um, then, the next one. Eat now. Eek lao means again, like for example, if someone doing something and then you say again, then you can say eek lao. Like it could be type pers type people might say like eek lao again. Like she does, she did it again. Eek lao. <laughs> so eek lao means again. And then my, my means new new and then tuan tuan means to repeat okay teach english in izan um i have one video about it that i made with my niece you can go check it out okay and then sam 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 means to repeat so um for example, I write down one word and then I repeat it again. Then I say kian sam. So sam means to do it again, to repeat it again. The difference between lao gap lao ga. Lao means then, gap means with, lao ga means then, and sometimes it means and. <laughs> Is changing the asking tone with friends or people kind of offending? I have never think, I have never thought that, like asking tone with friends and people, no, not offending. I don't think so for me okay อีกแล้วอืมอ๋อเนาะอีกอีกแล้วอีกแล้วหรอเฮ้ยอีกแล้วหรอ so, eek lao lao, like, again, like, she did it again, he did it again. Okay, the next one is sam sam sak sak. So, um, you will see this mark, um, a repeating mark, sam sam sak sak. So, but when we say sam sam sak sak, it's a negative way. 
like people that person keep doing like the same thing again and again again and again without changing and it's not positive at all it's negative or yeah so we say some some saksa but it's in a negative way instead of saying อะไรนะครับ can we say พูดซ้ําได้มั้ยครับ you can say it just that อะไรนะครับ is more common like an อะไรนะครับ is like 80% of people <laughs> use it. You can combine them actually. It's going to be polite. Or you just like, if you just say, Yeah. But not as polite as, Snatch. Keep up the lessons. I'm trying. Okay. The next one. Sam lao, sam lao. Again, we use this word for people's behavior to do something again and again, and it's in a negative way. Like, like he did it again and again, and it's not a positive way. ขอตัวไปก่อนนะครับโอเคได้ค่ะสวัสดีค่ะบาย okay. Ken Is this a now? No, it's um an adverb ซ้ำแล้วซ้ำเล่า And the last And the last one ซ้ำแล้วซ้ำอีก It's similar Like I would say in, we use them interchangeable for um, someone who is doing or repeating something again and again is not positive at all. <laughs> so be careful if um, someone use like some 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 so it's in a negative way kind of. So I prince. Okay, so that's all for today. I have finished the lessons. Could I be proud? since two weeks ago okay guys this is for today do you have any questions do you know the song Malong Kong Gang? no i do not know it Malong Kong Gang. <laughs> no i do not know that song um ben um you're welcome Okay, is there any question? Is it real that if you didn't speak the right tone of Thai word, Thai word? No, it's not real. Even though you um, say in a wrong tone, still, I believe I understand because I experienced it with my students before. <laughs> we understand. We do. Pian, uh, yindi ka. Lajakan, okay. What is the meaning? เรือนล่มงิ้ว. You got it from Alakon. Um, เรือน means a house. So we uh, commonly a house is ban. We also usually say ban เรือน. means um, a house as well. Or sometimes only the word เรือน also means a house. And then rom means like the cheat, like the cheat of a tree. So rian rom, so like a cheat of the house. And then new. So in this case, um, it's kind of like a slang for us, which means like there's an affair. So I think kind of like an affair in the house or affairs, I guess, because it's a lacon. ขอบคุณมากนะครับมีความสุขมาก okay okay I uh, I'm glad you enjoy learning I don't know anything should I go to school or get a cheap dealer first it it I think it's on you if you could afford a teacher then to just go for a teacher <laughs> or you wanna or learn by yourself like all is all a possible it depends on the time that you have um 
if you want to get um, a full intention from someone to teach you, then you can get a tutor. Like, everything has pro and cons. Can we easily learn Thai by speaking or by writing? Both. First, by listening. First. Uh, the use of lie and ye interchangeable. Mi ye, mi lai. Lai lai, mi lai an, mi ye an. Different. No, not, not, not interchangeable like all the, every time. No. But, but uh, I, I think it, it, it has to be another lesson. <laughs> A tie does. Don't. เข้าใจเกิดเกิดเกิดเอ่อขอบคุณมากครับเอ่อยินดีค่ะขอบคุณมากค่ะยินดีค่ะเอ่อ uh, thanks for the lesson thanks for the lesson uh yeah you're welcome i hope monday my ties i guess your english yeah you can one day I think uh, it should be separate. Putung means speak about that person or speak about that stuff. And then mai thung, mai thung means um, don't reach. Yeah. Kuma. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's your favorite song. <laughs> I love to study Thai. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad to hear. Which class are you teaching? This one. <laughs> Playing sip song. Uh, sip song duan, okay. Uh, 12 months. The roll of the R is so hard. Ra, 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 ra. You have to practice. <laughs> but um, when it comes to spoken Thai, then we omit. Um, um, vibrating the tongue like for example instead of saying rak we just say like la yeah okay thank you for listening you're welcome okay everyone you're welcome and I hope you enjoy today see you again next week and I'm going to announce um the topic for the next week and see if you guys are interested in talking with me about living studying staying traveling in bangkok and they bye 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 bye